All right, everyone, I'm gonna start another full self-drive video here, and let's go. So starting off a little left turn, I don't know why that took a while for them to go. There was no traffic there at all. Um, now this, oh wow, that was the first time it has taken that turn without stopping. There's no stop sign there, but for some reason it always stops and uh, like it did here. One for two, not bad. I gotta hit the accelerator a little bit. It's a 90 degree turn, no stop sign at all. It doesn't recognize there's a stop sign, but for some reason it used to stop at both and now it just stopped at one. No update that I have on the car at all. So um, it may have just learned from me pushing the accelerator through that and uh, gotten better over time, which is great. Now a little kind of slow creep to get that right turn there. I haven't done a full video, kind of a long video in quite some time. I have been waiting to get version 11 in and really see the differences. You know, it looks like, especially in neighborhoods, the version 11 will help keep you a little more center in the screen versus kind of hugging the curb and then you know, when you have uh, cars, it does that. And I've shown that in other videos, uh, that very strange veering, you know, it'll go in the middle when there's cars and when there's no cars, it goes towards the curb and it's like wavering back and forth, which is always a bit strange. So I've been hoping to get up to V11 soon, but uh, I am probably last on the list there. So that's why I've held off on doing a full video, but uh, we'll record it today. I'm actually headed to a Tesla uh, station, um, one of their service center uh, stations to get um, a new uh, EMMC uh, uh, card in. Oh, and that was interesting. Uh, I guess it read the yellow light pretty early on, so slow down. Um, ahead of time, which is fine. But yeah, headed, this is a 2017X and uh, there was a recall a while back uh, for the, uh, the memory card uh, to get that replaced. So on my way into the service center, hopefully this will be a quick uh, and easy update. I'll let everyone know. Uh, we should be, there we go. We're getting over now. We're gonna be heading on to the freeway pretty soon. So we're going from city to highway back to uh, city. And um, we'll see how that transition goes. Again, this isn't the single stack, so it will have to change from FSD beta back to just the normal navigate on autopilot for the, um, for the freeway there. So We'll see if I can get this total trip is going to take me about, we're looking at about 14 miles, a um, couple miles in the city, probably about 10, 12, 10, 11 miles freeway, two freeways that will go through and then back to a little bit on uh, the city. So not a ton, decent acceleration there. Uh, which wasn't bad. I was driving earlier today and the acceleration for some reason off of one of the lights was so slow um, that uh, I think the person behind me was close to honking. They didn't honk, but I could tell they were not a fan of uh, me taking off from the line. That's still the thing that's a bummer. I love the acceleration. I don't fully punch it when I launch off of a, a light. Uh, you know, I still am a fairly mid-range driver, not aggressive, not super slow, but kind of in the in, in between. And, and But I do like a little bit of a punch off a light if I'm in front. And that's been the one thing that I have always been bummed about with F FSD. When you go off a green, <laughs> and you're at the front there, uh, it is very slow. But that one didn't feel bad. All right, so we're getting close to the freeway. We're gonna go through two more lights. 
This will merge as well, so we'll see how this handles this merge. Uh, the two lanes that are going onto the freeway will merge into one. And there's not much traffic, there shouldn't be much traffic on the freeway itself, but uh, there will be a little bit of traffic right here to merge in and we'll see how that handles. We'll see if I need to take over or not. I still get a little overly cautious so I do disengage probably more than other people that are showing off their FSD beta videos and trying to push it to the limit. If I feel that it's not 105% safe, I will, I will disengage and take over. Um, here, yeah, it handled that pretty well. And I have the follow distance set to four. So a pretty big follow distance. Uh, of course, right now it's closer, but we're going on a freeway, so that's fine. Um, a little bit of a break there, which wasn't good. The car behind me, oh, yes. The car behind me is not too close. So that's fine. I'll always keep a view on who's behind me, how close they're behind me, and uh, make sure that I'm ready to engage if I need to. Now, we could have got over there. Uh, there was enough space to get over, but for some reason it didn't. There's a big gap now. Okay, and it delayed a little bit, but then got over. Um, and now we're not really accelerating that well though. So it got over fine. There's a Model Y, nice red Model Y, brand new looks like right behind us. But they were coming at a decent speed and uh, I would have hoped it gave a little extra power right there, uh, which it, it didn't, but still wasn't terribly bad. Now we're getting up to the speed that we have set, which is five miles above the speed limit, it's getting us up to 70 miles an hour, and that seems to be fairly well for the flow of traffic here. Traffic's flowing pretty well, not really much, especially for the Bay Area. Um, this is a nice freeway drive, uh, but yeah, we're going a little under the target, so but not much, we're going now, actually now we're slowing down to 62. So we'll see if it's gonna get us over to the passing lane, hopefully it does. But we will see. Using a new camera, I'm using a DJI Osmo action camera, the Action 3. It's actually been pretty awesome, I'm gonna do some reviews of this thing. Uh, it's a good little, action camera like a GoPro. <coughs> the sound isn't that great. That is still one thing. Uh, if you have suggestions on mics, let me know in the comments. I am probably going to get a couple um, DJI, uh, the DJI mics that they have as well, just the wireless mics. I've been doing some research and those look to be pretty good in terms of uh, battery life and just ease of use you know wireless very easy wireless and can connect with any type of camera and um, sound quality looks pretty good as well so might uh, get one of those to help with the sound quality now we're still going under what I would like I'm just gonna go ahead and put the blinker on to get over because the fast lane is going at a much better pace. Um, and so that's one kind of negative where it didn't work too well. But also just I know as a human that coming up here in about a mile is an interchange with another major freeway. And typically there is a lot of traffic that starts to back up in the two right lanes. Not the left, but the two right, as one is going to fully merge off. One will kind of merge to another freeway. One will go to one freeway going north, one freeway going south. Um, and then this way stays clear. So just as a good preventative to... And you can see it's actually not backed up um, at all, but uh, sometimes it is there. So 
I'll probably get back over to the center lane in a second. We'll see if it will get me over. We're in the passing lane. We're only going 70. Speed limit is 65. And I'm sure someone is going to come right up on my tail in a few minutes here and uh, want to blast by me at 80. So we might just go ahead and tell it to get back into the center lane. We'll be super curious with version 11 how this improves freeway driving if it does at all. Following a bunch of other people and you know it looks like there's some good and bad with freeway driving with the 11. Um, we'll see. They've also been, it looks like Tesla's been pretty, um, pretty quick to release point updates for that as well. Um, so I'm hoping that they get uh, a few more updates out and a couple issues resolved and then they go super wide and give it to all cars including some of these older cars like mine. All right, but and I always keep my hand a little on the wheel when I'm getting close to, and now we go. I switch back to the middle lane, now it wants me to get back to the fast lane to pass this uh, white car here, which was interesting because we were going about 68 and they're going about about that, about 68, maybe even 70, which is what I have it set to the max and it went to go around whereas before we were going 63 and it didn't put the blinker on to get me over, I had to do that manually, so sometimes I don't know how it's making those decisions on you know when to get into the faster lane or not but I would have thought it would have got over a while back when I had to manually push it versus this time um, and we are coming pretty close to the next interchange now this is a freeway interchange that I've actually never used the navigate on autopilot on so it'll be interesting um, the two left lanes here well veer to the left go over an overpass it'll slow down um, it should because there's a pretty uh, decent turn to the left and then those two lanes will merge into one and then those will have to merge over to get onto this next freeway, which might we might see some traffic here. I'm not too sure what the traffic situation will look like, but we'll see. So this will be interesting. There's going to be some merging going on of lanes. There's going to be merging into uh, merging over a lane, and we will see how this takes it. Uh, now it's getting us over. I'm going to heading into this turn the max speed down a little bit to 65 um, hopefully it reads the sign and it goes down even further because we will get into probably a 40 maybe a 40 zone to go around this this curve here there's a car I'm following so yeah it's 40 and uh, since I'm following pretty close to a car we'll see how it handles this but we're coming into it at 65 uh, it's still going 65 even though we just passed the 40 marker it's still saying that 65 is the limit now this will get a little sketchy because these all merge in and I don't know how it's gonna handle this uh, yep, I'm gonna blinker to get it over oh and it turned off it probably turned off because I grabbed the wheel a little bit um, or it might have turned off just because I um, actually I didn't hit the, the brake so Maybe it turned off on its own. I'll have to review the camera. Um, but that was one that uh, didn't look like it handled well. So we'll chalk that up as a disengagement. I'll turn it back on in a second. We'll get over to the, uh, the lane that I want to be in here. And we'll flip it back on. But uh, yeah, it didn't look like it knew that those lanes were going to merge together uh, at all there. Now got over a lane we're gonna exit in less than 